Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I'm here with a new tutorial that is get data from SQL to text box, drop down list and ready button list in SV.NET C Sharp using Link -U. This tutorial was uh, crude operation using link you see sharp link in the description box below okay view in browser yes this is the sp.net web page now i'm going to inserting more record this tutorial is get data from sql to textbook drop down list and ready button list uh, using link you see sharp okay now i just uh, inserting a record new record id name address as sex and date of birth 199 96 okay successfully inserted you can see the records also displaying in the grid view okay now i'm gonna adding a button control i just copy and paste this button control and uh, in the property i just change this text of this button control text is load okay now go to the event remove the previous event and uh, double click to create new event this is the button 5 click event now i'm gonna write code to get data from SQL Server to text box uh, drop down list and ready button list. User info underscore tab. This is the table name where SQL from as in db dot user info underscore tab. Table name where s dot user id equal to first of all I'm gonna declare variable for text box one user id txt id. Yes, the id of this user id text box is txt id. So user integer user id equal to integer dot first txt id dot text okay so you id user id equal to you id select s dot past okay now username address is sex and date of birth username is txt u name and address is drop address age is txt age sex reduce sex and date of birth txt job okay now text name dot text equal to st dot username and drop address dot selected value equal to st dot address text age dot text equal to st dot age dot twisting this is a uh, plot type double that's why uh, converted to string twisting reduce sex dot selected value equal to st dot sex and date of birth txt dob dot text equal to st dob date of birth this is date time type so convert it to twisting okay reload this page yes now 102 load yes christine you can see 102 uh, christine address is sex are loaded in the related field and 103 same tom oxford 46 mail yes and if 105 load yes it's also working fine okay now if i put 1006 load then it's displaying error sequence contain no element what i don't want to display to to the user i mean client so now i'm gonna write code to check the record exists or not in sql server in that case, virus text is equal to from s in db dot user info underscore tab where s dot user id equal to uid select as dot uid. Now, if s the exist, I mean this uh, entities exist. If the record exist, then as the dot count greater than zero means if the record exists, then it will display the related field text box drop down list and uh, ready button also. If not exist, I mean else if the record not exists in the sql server then it will display a message message will be user id does not exist see below okay db db is the link you file reference you can see my link you file is data class so db data class data context db equal to you can see in the solution explorer ff code data class dot dbml this is the reference okay now go to the browser reload this page and now put 105 yes it's displaying perfectly and if 106 then user id does not exist see below 
okay i can see smith and age sex later birth also same as constantly so to hide this name age and uh, date of birth just for txt name age and date of birth equal to blank now load yes user id does not exist and the username address as sex later of birth also blank instantly if 105 it's okay fine and 104 it's also working fine 106 it's not exist okay thanks for watching this tutorial mm -hmm.